What I'm doing right now is assembling and wrapping a surgical pack. The pack I'm going to wrap right now is just our general pack that we would use for our basic procedure. For any special, specialized procedure, we have individual wrapped tools that we would also grab. This is just our general pack. So starting now, I'm going to gather all my supplies. I've got our tray that we're gathering our instruments in. My instruments are all laid out right here, scrubbed, cleaned, lubricated, and left to dry. I've got my indicator strip to go in my pack, paper towel at the bottom, my indicator tape that goes on the outside of the pack, and my wrap to go around the pack. And then some gauze sponges and a scalpel blade that all go inside of this general pack. So we're going to go ahead and get started and get our instruments organized in our tray. So I'm going to start with my tray right here. The first thing going in my tray is just going to be a folded paper towel that I'm putting on the bottom. This is just keeping it neat and clean. So I'm just going to lay that on the bottom, kind of tucking the edges a little bit so it doesn't get in the way of our instruments. Okay, then I'm going to go ahead and take a look at the instruments we've got here. So as I said, they're clean, lubricated, dried, ready to be packed. I'm just going to lay them out so I can see what we have make sure we have everything that we need. So I'm going to go ahead and start with my forceps. I'm going to have a pair of, of curved Kellys and straight Kellys. So that's these two. I'm going to put those in the bottom. And I'm laying them kind of side by side in the tray. Then my mosquito forceps, there's going to be two pairs of curved going in the opposite direction. Two pairs of straight going on top of my curved. And then I've got my scissors. I've got a different variety of scissors. Some curved sharps and mets and bomb scissors and all of these are going in mets and bombs on one and then the sharps on the other side my larger pair I'm gonna hold off putting in till the top because that's what their doctor is gonna use to cut the drape and then I've got my tissue forceps or my thumb forceps I've got my brown Addison tissue forceps that are going in and then my rat tooth tissue forceps then I've got two sizes of scalpel handles. I've got a three and a four. We'll include both of these in our general pack. And then I've got my towel clamps, which are also going to go on top, and my needle holders are also going to go on top. So we've got these three things that will go in last. So I've got my gauze sponges here. I'm going to split them in half for each side and lay those in. And then here's where I will add my needle holders on top of that. And my scalpel blade, this is what their doctor's going to need um, among the first things, is a needle holder and scalpel blade. And then I will add my indicator strip. And this indicator strip is going to turn black all along through the center to verify that it is properly sterilized. I'm going to lay this on top where we can see it. And then add my towel clamps down at this end, out of the way. And then my scissors across the top, just like so. Okay, so then this is our completed general pack. And then wrapping our pack, you can use linen wraps or what we use here are these disposable wraps. These are for one use only, but we wrap them just the same as you would with a linen uh, reusable wrap. So I'm just going to lay it out flat, lay my surgery pack in the center on a diamond shape, and then I'm going to add over the top under my scissors is just a blue operating towel and then my scissors on top of that. So I'm going to take the bottom corner of my wrap, fold it up over, and tuck it underneath the back edge, like so, making sure that the corner is out. I'm tucking it in kind of closely, making sure everything's just secure. This is kind of holding my pack together. And then this corner I'm going to fold, oh, put that underneath all the way. This corner is going to fold up. Okay. I'm getting that under. Okay, and then that corner is going to fold up. And I'm going to take this side and fold it up and over, right or left side, doesn't matter which. And then fold the corner back also. This is allowing to make sure that when we open it, we can pull to the side without touching the pack. And then the same on the left side. Fold it over, and then fold your corner back. And then for my remaining flap, I'm going to fold just like an envelope, and over the pack, and tuck it in on this side where we've left a little flap. 
I'm leaving, again, leaving my corner out. So I'm kind of tucking it in almost from the inside out. So I've got my corner right here that we can then pull and open to the side. So that's a single wrap. And I'm going to double wrap it, so another layer. The same as before, pulling our bottom corner up and over. Tucking it in underneath, pulling tight, making sure that corner comes up. And then my right side is, comes over. Fold that corner back. And my left side, fold that corner. And then I'm going to flip it around, take my end, go over the pack, and in the other side. Again, tucking kind of working inside out, leaving my corner on the outside, like that. And then I'm just going to straighten it out, get all my wrinkles, make sure we don't have any holes in our pack. Okay, and then we've got our flap right here, ready to pull out and over. So the last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take my autoclave indicator tape, and I'm going to run two pieces across. This is going to indicate externally that the pack has or has not been sterilized. Okay, I'm going to fold a corner of this down, so we've got a tab to grab when we're ready to open our pack. And then one strip across the top. And then the same across the bottom. Fold a corner down. And it'll go right down like that. Okay, and then I'm going to label what this pack is. So this is our general surgery pack. General surgery. And then I'm also going to mark it with the date it's being sterilized. And this is going to go directly into the autoclave now. So I'm just going to put today's date. And then my initials so that we know who sterilized it and who wrapped it. Alright, and then here's my general surgery pack and it's ready to be autoclaved. And then we can check our sterilization and it'll be ready for use.